So in addition to the battery monitor, I was thinking about other things I could do in the same area. Now, just by uh, the batteries on a prey is the black water tank. And the black water tank sensors have never worked on, on a prey. It's always, um, it basically just reads uh, the lowest level. So a green light. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna demonstrate how to uh, set up an external sensor uh, and configure it within Sig Signal K um, via an ESP32. In this episode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate how to set up a uh, water tank sensor, um, whether that be the black water or the, or the or any tank basically, using some switches like like this one. It, it is a XKC-Y25-V, and basically you buy these from Amazon or from AliExpress, and whenever water or liquid is sensed on the on the nose of this. It will it will turn on. So basically, it will uh, it, it will make a connection, uh, and you you can sense that on some of the pins on the Raspberry Pi or on the uh, ESP32. Now, as I've got an ESP32 that's going in by my batteries, and that's where the, the black water tank is, then that's how I'm going to sense uh, these. And I'm going to use three of these. Or I'm going to use five of them on the boat, but I'm going to use three of the, these in a demonstration today. So stay with us and like and subscribe. So we've got an ESP32 here. So here's the ESP32. And what I've got is I've got three of those sensors uh, just connected up and basically taped to the front of this water bulb here. And what I'm gonna do is that as the tank fills up, each one of those will, will get um, uh, a signal and we'll be able to read that on signal K here, where each one of these, one, two, three, will, will go from zero to one and then there is a calculation that sets the level of, of that value as it increases. I've also set up a KIP page here, which will show the percentage of the, the, the tank full, and then also the three sensors as they go from zero to one. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, they, they connect to digital pins. So um, I've, on here, I've connected power, ground, and digital pin. On the unit itself, there are four pins, so you ignore the last pin. So the last pin is, is ignored. If you do do something with that pin, you can basically ground that pin and it will change the normally open configuration of the sensor. But I don't want to do that That's because it's perfect for the way I want it right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to start filling this, uh, this jug until I get to the first sensor and see what happens. I actually haven't done this yet. Uh, I've done it with my hand and I've tested the code, um, but I haven't actually used water with it. So we'll see how this goes. So, unfortunately, I can't see it. So. Oh, so there you go. So. Uh, the level just got to the bottom of the first one um, and you can see on the on uh, kip we have 30 percent on the the level and uh, the lowest sensor went to one um, so that's pretty straightforward and if you go if we go to sig signal k uh, you'll see that it's one and that the the, um, the current level of the black water tank is uh, 30 percent basically um, so it's just easier to see in kit. So we'll do it here. So we'll keep going and see what what happens when we get to the second one. I'm sure it'll just uh, be the same. Again, I can't see. So hopefully you guys can. Hopefully I don't spill it all over the sensors. I don't know if they're waterproof. I think they are actually.
Oh, it might be there, but it isn't. Oh, there you go. Second one's just come on. VNC is disconnected, so I'll just reconnect that. We'll start again. So now you can see Kip has changed to both sensors, the middle and the bottom sensor, and then uh, the tank has gone up to 60%. So we'll, we'll carry on with the with the jug pouring the, the rest of the water in. Hopefully there's enough. I think there is because they're the same size container. Nope, so the top one has, has um, gone as well. And uh, now we're up to 90% with all three sensors. Uh, and you can see all the lights are lit up. So that's a positive uh, test. Um, so uh, that's pretty good. And like I said, there's five of these going to go on to uh, appraise Blackwater tank. So now we'll take a look at the code. So we're here now in Visual Studio. And basically this is the, the code. And I'm going to put this on on GitHub, so it'll be on a page in GitHub, um, so people can grab it. And what I've done is I've, I've set it up in such a way that if you've already got a, a CPP, a main.cpp file that you want to uh, add this to, I've basically highlighted um, the start of the code and the end of the code. And and you can adjust the number of sensors by basically just just adding more and more, like. I've got it up to black three, then you could go black four, five, whatever. Mine obviously goes up to five uh, on the on the one for for a prey. So what what we've got first of all is is defining some variables. So I define black water tank level and set it to zero, and then also black three, two, one states and set them to false. I also uh, define a function here that uh, that basically um, returns the black water level so it returns a zero right then I then call that later then also I set up this calculation so this is another function here black water calc and it basically asks so it says black water one if the state is one then the the um, the level is is nine is, is point nine sorry um, if it's if two is is on then it's point six and if three is on then it's uh, point 0.3. The numbers will represent whichever, however you've got it set up, however the, you've got these sensors connected. Uh, then we're going to the regular stuff. So this, this all this stuff here is associated with uh, send CSP. Uh, and then we go back into more air, more um, Blackwater tank specific code. So this Blackwater tank specific code, it takes the black three input state and then uh, it looks at the digital state of the pin uh, so this is the pin that you have so here i have digital six which is pin 14 and on black two i have pin zero which is digital five and then pin 26 which is digital three so uh, i basically look at those and then i connect them to a, a lambda consumer which which what that does is it really uh changes it from from being a pool, so a one or a zero, into a float, so basically into a number. What I do then is I, I use those variables in this table here and basically call this calculation. And then at the bottom here, I, I basically repeat the sensor every, every second, I repeat the calculation or this callback here to get the number that I set earlier at the very top. And then at the very end here, I send all this data to Signal K. Uh, I've, I've put tests at the front of each one of these because I wanted to differentiate them. Um, so, but you can use whatever you want for, for these values. If it's a black water tank, then I think it's tanks, black water, current level, like this one. So that's the, that's the software. So hopefully uh, that's helpful and, and some of you might uh, want to set up uh, a tank sensor very similar um, let me know in the comments uh, like and subscribe um, and I just just like to know that uh, people are, are using uh, some of the demonstrations I give and uh, enjoying uh, playing with them like I I enjoy playing with this sort of stuff um, so uh, let me know